to travel around Susie. Today I am going to show you this Renergy DC to DC product that I really like. I want to show you why I like it. Come along and check it out. This is Renergy's DC to DC charger. And what a DC to DC charger is it charges as you're driving down the road from this here, the starter battery from the alternator. Then this will push out power to the battery and charge my host battery. This also too is a MPPT charge controller all in one. Reasons I bought this unit is the size. I only have to put this unit in, not two units. Normally you buy DC to DC charger and the MPP, and then you gotta fit it in this array. I have a small footprint to work with. I needed that was pretty compact, and I definitely wanted a DC to DC charger. This unit fit both of them criteria. You can hook up 660 watts of solar and it could accept 660 watts from the alternator. That's a lot of power, but you have to be careful. One of the negatives of this is you have to hook your solar panels in parallel because the voltage can only handle 25 volts going through this unit. So if you hook them up in series, that's too much voltage for this unit. The other reason why I bought this is because I am new to solar and this unit is pretty easy to set up. Let me show you. This is how I have mine set up. This goes to the battery or the alternator from under my hood. And then this goes up to my solar. I can turn that on and off. Then over here is the negative. The negatives coming in and the negatives going out. Four screws that you really have to mess with. If you have a smart alternator, there is a little spot where you put the smart ignition wire. This comes with this unit right here, which comes down and you just plug it in there. And the other end is this and you just put that right here. It's a sensor that if the battery gets hot, it will shut off. A lot of MPPT chargers, you have to set it up. You have to enter in a bunch of codes. This unit, you just install it and you're good to go. See this little light right here? Is for whether you have lead acid or lithium battery and you can change that setting with that little button. Now they do have some older models that you have to put a little pin in there. This one is the newer version. You just push that button in and out. My lithium battery is installed. I'm not going to be messing with that. Here's the other thing that I really like is all these are visually, you can tell what's going on by just a glance. And if you look here in the manual, which I keep this by this solar system, just because I'm new and I'm still learning. Example, see how that battery, that right there is talking about my alternator. It's a picture of an alternator. They really simplify this. If you're a new beginner, this is really user friendly. That's flashing. It's actually red, but for some reason it looks orange in the video. Then you go up here to alternator flashing. Slow flashing means that it's charging my starter battery, which brings me to another positive with this. I'm sitting still, I'm not driving. My house battery is full. Now it's my battery under the hood. I will never have to worry about a dead battery for starting my vehicle because this unit will charge it. Inside here, this thing is smart. This is why I love it, is when this battery is full, it says, okay, we have more power coming in from the solar. We'll send it to the starter battery. And when that's full, it cuts the power off to both batteries. And as I'm driving, if I start using this battery or if I've drained some of this battery, which is my house battery, and I turn on my car, as I'm driving, this will turn solid red. And that means that my alternator is pushing power from back to this unit and this unit is pushing it to here. My terminology is not exact. I'm just trying to make this easy for you guys to understand and use common words.
card. When you get this unit, you get this, you get the covers, which I can't use because I have these lugs coming off. This screw, it can accommodate three to four lugs, which is super nice if you need them. Like this one, I have the solar panel, my alternator, and my house battery all here hooked up. This is the negative going to use because it's going and grounding everything. And it comes with this, which is the sensor, and it does come with a smart alternator wire. If you have a smart alternator, you need to install that. But I do not because I have an older vehicle. I do not have the ignition wire hook up for this unit. Going back to the manual, which I find this manual quite easy to read and easy to use. There's two pages that I always pay attention to in this manual, and this is why I keep this manual closed. All them lights are four, and second, it shows each light is, what it does, and what the code is or what it means. All on one page, I don't have to go searching through every page for it. I look, oh, what does that mean? I can go to the manual and figure it out quickly. Right now, I've got solar coming in. That's what that light means. If I turn off the solar, it cuts it off. It's not charging my starter battery anymore because I have nothing coming in. Now, I wanted to start my van. My van is running. My alternator is charging my battery because I turned on a bunch of things in my van that's using the power. My alternator is throwing power back to here and it's charging my house battery as I'm driving down the road, which is part of that DC to DC. So that you guys stay towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show you kind of a bummer product from Renergy. Not very happy with this. In my channels, I am only gonna tell you my honest opinion. I like it, I don't like it, and what I experienced. When I bought my CDD charger, it said Bluetooth. Well, it says Bluetooth capable. That means you have to buy this unit, which is just a plug and play. They give you, I don't know, I think it's like 20 feet of cable, which is nice. And then you download this app and then you'll be able to see all your data. I'll show you the app later. Stick around for this video, you'll see the app. It's a cool app, I like the app. It gives you lots of information. The biggest downfall I have with this is it does not stay connected. If you walk, go hiking and you come back to your van, you have to reconnect it to this. And wait, I just, here is the app for the Runner G Flick 2. It's not connected. It's not showing me anything. This is why I do not like this. So then you have to go up here and go over here. Then see, now it's syncing. If I want to know about my information on my solar, I don't want to sit here and monkey with this. I want to look at it and see what's going on. There it goes. It's connected now. My house battery voltage is not charging because the sun's not really out. It's a cloudy, dreary day. And then you can see what the starter battery is. They do have a different app. This one is the one I originally started. This one won't even connect because I have the other one connected. So I play around with these apps. They're not anything that would promote or that I would recommend you to get. I personally like the Renergy 500 amp battery shunt monitor. That's why I bought this guy was $40. If I had to do it again, would I buy it just to see the stuff on the app? Probably not. I would have just paid the, I think this is like 80 bucks and gotten this. I did a review on this, so go back to my channel and look for this, and I will also to link it down in the description. But I have a whole playlist on starting van life. If this is one of the videos that I have in there is a review on what I think about this guy, definitely won't have a video on this because I don't like it. I don't recommend this. 